Belly Business. How to make a belly mold. Apply resist, pour a plaster cast and prepare it for painting. It takes four steps. The mold, the resist, the pour and the clean up. You'll need a private space for 20 to 30 minutes to mold each belly, a stool or back of a chair for mum to perch on with her belly still upright and a place to dry out the cast a few days in the sun or overnight beside a heater will do. Step 1. Making the mould. You need drop sheets, clean garbage bags, a bucket of warm water, gypsona plaster bandage, three or four rolls of 20 centimetres wide, and scissors, sorbeline, vaseline, a towel or some clean rags. You can get gypsona plaster bandage through the hospital suppliers and you need three or four rolls of 20 centimetre wide for moulding a full torso, but that depends how big your mama is. Prepare a private space with drop sheets on the floor and table. It's a messy job. Cut the closed end off a clean garbage bag for mum to step into and tuck in as a clothes protector. Cover mum's belly and breasts around past the sides with sorbeline. Use Vaseline on any hairy parts. Measure the length around the belly side to side and from top to bottom. Cut 10 pieces across ways and five up and down and some smaller bits for around the boobs. Run the bandage length through the warm water so that it's completely wet. Then wrap the wet bandage around the belly. Another pair of hands really helps keeping it straight, flat. Make sure the first layer's really rubbed smooth to get a good contact with the skin and get rid of any air bubbles. Mum can help doing the boobs. Try not to get any bandage under the boobs. Just try to make a beautiful clean curve where they rest there. You need to make three layers all together. Across, up and down and then across again. When you're finished, leave it on for a few minutes until it's dry and the plaster warms up when it's going off, so it gets quite warm. Release the sides carefully. If you haven't put enough sorbeline there, it can be a bit ouchy, and then ease the mould off gently. Put it aside to set then for 30 minutes or more. Step 2. The Resist. You need detergent and water, a container to mix it in, and a large paintbrush, a cardboard box with scrumpled newspaper to fully support the belly shape, make a cradle. In a container, mix the detergent with water, half and half. Then paint all the inside with this mix. Paint it twice to be sure the inside's fully covered. Then let it dry. It's a bit like an eggshell, it is a bit fragile. Now here comes the tricky bit. Step 3, the pour. You 
You need wire mesh 10 to 20 centimeters wide and wire cutters and the casting plaster about 7 kilos for a full torso or more if it's a bigger mould. Drop sheets, bucket, rubber gloves and the cardboard box paper cradle. Cut and shape wire pieces to fit inside the belly mould for strength. Fold the sharp ends in. Cut some pieces for around under the breasts and along the sides. You need about a third of a 20 kilo bag of casting plaster for each full torso or about a quarter for just the belly. Wear disposable gloves handling the plaster and try not to breathe the dust or get any in your eyes. Fill a clean bucket two thirds with clean water. Scatter the plaster over the water until a small island forms in the middle. Let the plaster take up the water for four minutes or so. Tap the sides of the bucket to release the dry plaster and raise any air bubbles. Don't stir it too soon or it'll go lumpy. Then slowly mix it to an even consistency with your gloved hand. Lift out any floating bubble islands. Then let it sit again for 10 minutes. Stir it again before pouring it into the belly mold. Adjust the wire to fit in its place. Try to avoid making air bubbles and gently push the plaster mix over the wire. In a few minutes the plaster will change and thicken like when whipping cream. So it gets easier then to gradually build up the sides. You have to work faster as it thickens, it goes off fairly quickly and it gets warmer. So pull some out of the pool in the belly to build an even layer all around. Check for even thickness, especially all around the edges. 3 centimeters or an inch is good. As it starts to crumble you can scrape it out where it's still too thick and pat it in another place where it might need it for a little while but then it gets really dry and crumbly and it's gone past the workable time. Put it aside somewhere for at least a few hours to set. It'll get quite warm. Step number four, the clean-up. It's another messy job, so you need drop sheets and a bin and a bucket, a flat fruit knife for scraping and a scour sponge. Carefully peel off the bandages. If you're lucky, they'll come off in one piece, but otherwise peel them off bit by bit. Scrape back and clean up the edges with the fruit knife. Make a beautiful clean curve around the outside and under the breasts. Cut off any wire ends sticking out. Smooth and remove any excess plaster on the surface of the belly. Make up a small mix of plaster in a cup to even up the surface and you can paint it on with a brush until it starts to get thick. Patch up any air holes and cover exposed wires this way. Fill deeper cavities as the plaster starts to thicken. Then you can polish it smooth with a damp sponge and plenty of water. Mm -hmm. 
Washing up buckets and brushes and sponges is much easier before the plaster goes off. Dry the belly casts beside a heater overnight. It may take longer than that, there's a lot of water in them. I'll put them in the sun for a few days until it rings like a bell and it becomes much lighter. You can tell when it's fully dried out. When it's totally dried out, paint two coats of acrylic undercoat on before the colours. It'll help the paint stick better. You could invite grannies or aunties or sisters to come and paint and hear their birthing stories at the same time. It's a bit more difficult, but hands and feet and even faces can be cast in the same way. So there's belly casting business for you and good luck with yours. This photo story was put together for Beyond Empathy by Joe Davidson in May 2010, including photos by Wendy Kimpton, Kelly Marticello and Joe. Beyond Empathy Young Mums projects are sponsored by Goldman Sachs and JB Ware.